So I'm here today to speak about this deeper intelligence, this mysterious force that lives within us. Beyond the realm of our intellect, beyond the realm of our social conditioning, a greater power connects us to where we've come from, connects us to who sent us, holds for us what we're here to do, whom we're whom we are to meet, specifically, why we are in the world at this time, and what our role may ultimately be as we make this journey towards knowledge. People have heard about things related to knowledge, like intuition, or gut feelings, or insights, uh, visions. These kinds of things can all be the outer manifestation of knowledge but knowledge itself is far greater. It actually represents who you really are. Not just temporarily as a person living in the world, but who you really are. Permanently. Forever. Such a very different reality that knowledge represents for us. Not just a bigger person, a bigger self, a bigger identity, has a new name. It's really a part of us that we barely know. So consumed living in the world as the world is so consuming to live in. So today we're going to explore some aspects of knowledge, some of the difficulties people have coming to terms with knowledge or even recognizing it at the outset, and uh, what some of the stages or levels of development mean and represent, and um, how you might see yourself there, too. There are certain things that always must be clarified so that even our initial approach becomes easier, more simple. Knowledge itself is remarkably simple. It's just so vast and mysterious that it escapes our conceptual capabilities. But it itself is fundamental and simple. So in time, we as individuals, people in the world, have to learn to become more fundamental, more simple. Complexity here is not the issue. The real issue or question is, can you be in the world guided by this greater intelligence and power within you in such a way that you you become a vehicle for it, and through this, your mind is restored, your engagement with your deeper nature is restored, and what you are meant to give to this world can actually be given where it needs to be given, how it needs to be given. Things that we cannot sit on the sidelines and figure out. This is not an armchair journey. It's not a journey of entertaining yourself with visions and fantasies and grand notions of yourself or what the world should be. It's something that's going to bring you back into the world in a very dynamic and significant way. We call that living the inspired and determined life. And the question is, who or what is determining that life? 